Genesis chapter 8. And God remembered Noah and every living thing and all the cattle that was within with him in the ark. And God made a wind to pass over the earth and the waters as waged. The fountains also of the deep and the windows of the heavens were stopped. And the rain from heaven was restrained. And the waters returned from off the earth continually. And after the end of the hundred and fifty days, the water were abated. The waters were abated. And the ark rested in the seventh month on the seventeenth day of the month upon the mountains of Ararat. And the waters decreased continually until the tenth month. And in the tenth month, the, uh, on the first day of the month were the tops of the mountains seen. And it came to pass at the end of 40 days that Noah opened the window of the ark which he had made. And he sent forth a raven which went forth to and fro until the waters were dried up from the earth. Also, he sent forth a dove from him to see if the watchers were abated off the face of the ground. But the dove found no rest for the, the sole of her foot, and she returned unto him into the ark, for the waters were on the face of the whole earth. Then he put forth his hand and took her and pulled her in unto him into the ark. And he stayed yet another seven days. And again he sent forth the dove out of the ark. And the dove came into him in the evening. And lo, in her mouth was an olive leaf plucked off. And so Noah knew that the waters were abated from the face of the earth. And he stayed yet another seven days and sent forth the dove which returned not again unto him any more. And it came to pass that on the six hundredth and first year in the first month, in the first day of the month, the watchers were dried up from the earth. And Noah removed the covering of the ark and looked, and behold, the face of the ground was dry. And in the second month, on the seventh and twentieth day of the month, was the earth dried. And God spake unto Noah, saying, Go forth of the ark thou and thy wife and thy sons and thy sons wives with thee bring forth with thee every living thing that is with thee of all the flesh both of fowl and of cattle and of every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth that they may breed abundantly in the earth and be fruitful and multiply upon the earth. And Noah went forth and his sons and his wife and his son's wife with them, him. And every beast, every creepy thing and every fowl and whatsoever creepeth upon the earth after their kinds when went forth out of the ark and Noah builded an altar unto the Lord and took every clean beast and of 
every clean fowl and offered burnt offerings on the altar. And the Lord smelled a sweet savory. And a sweet savor. And the Lord said in his heart, I will not again curse the ground any more for man's sake. For the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I again smite anyone, everything living as I have done. While the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest, and cold and heat, and summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease.